In our earlier videos, we defined variables using the assignment operator. However, we didn't provide formal rules for naming variables, which is what we'll do in this video. After that, we'll provide a list of words that are not valid variable names and talk about some variables which are automatically available in MATLAB's workspace. First, here's a list of some basic rules for creating variable names. Variable names can be at most 63 characters long. If you create a variable name longer than that, MATLAB will remove any characters after the first 63. Variable names should start with a letter. Other characters can be any combination of letters, numbers, or underscore characters. Variable names can't contain spaces, punctuation, or mathematical operators. In addition, most special characters such as percent, dollar sign, and so on are not allowed. Underscores are an exception to this rule. Variable names are case sensitive. Capital versus lowercase letters do make a difference. Now that we've gone through the basic rules, let's do some examples to illustrate them. A variable named var4 is allowable. But trying to create a variable named for var results in an error, since variables can't start with a number. Likewise, most special characters and punctuation are not allowed. For example, my percent var equals 3 results in an error, as does my exclamation mark var equals 4. We can't use spaces in our variables, so the variable my space var isn't allowed. Usually, if people want something that looks like a space in their variable name, they'll insert an underscore. My underscore var is allowed. Finally, let's create a variable my underscore var with a capital M to show that variables are case sensitive. Now, if we look at the contents of the workspace, we see that my underscore var and my underscore var with a capital M are two distinct variables containing different values. There are some words that, even though they meet the above rules, are not allowable variable names. They are what are called reserved words and have special meaning to MATLAB. You probably don't need to memorize the list of reserved words. Trying to use them will result in an error and the list is always readily available with the is keyword command. Let's type is keyword at the command prompt. None of the words on this list can be used as variable names. For example, if I try to assign the value 4 to a variable named while, MATLAB gives me an error message. Notice though that MATLAB's function names don't appear on this list. You can redefine function names as variables. For example, Recall that the format function changes the format in which the numbers are displayed in the command window. If I want, however, I can define format as a variable by typing format equals 5. So now I can use format as a number in a calculation. For example, I can calculate 3 plus format and get 8. What I can't do is use format to change the display. Format space long results in an error message. To return it to function status, just clear the format variable from the workspace by typing clear space format. Now format works as it used to. Finally, there are a number of variables which are predefined in the workspace every time you open MATLAB. You'll probably learn the predefined variables that you use the most as time goes on. The most useful one for now are probably pi, i, j, inf, and nan. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, 3.1415 and so on. MATLAB uses both i and j for the square root of negative 1. NAN stands for not a number, which is the result of an undefined mathematical operation. INF stands for infinity, which just means that the number is larger than the largest number that MATLAB can represent. You can reassign these variable names to other values. If you do, for example, assign pi to be 3, it will retain that value until you clear the variable. Then it will go back to its predefined value. There are other predefined variables. A list is available in MATLAB's help documentation. Now let's do some examples of using these. First, 
let's display MATLAB's predefined value for pi. It's what we'd expect. i is displayed as a complex number with both real and imaginary parts. The real part is 0 and the imaginary part is 1. Be somewhat careful with the predefined variables since you can redefine them. For example, let's assign the value of 3 to pi by typing pi equals 3. Now the variable pi has the value 3 rather than the predefined value. MATLAB will retain this value for pi until you reassign a new value to the variable or until you close and reopen MATLAB. However, you can recover the predefined value of pi by clearing the value that you set. For example, typing clear space pi restores the default value of pi. We can get a result of i and f by creating a number that's bigger than real max. Real max, by the way, is the largest number MATLAB can represent. If we calculate 10 times real max, we get the result i and f. Division by 0 will also return i and f. NAN results from an undefined operation. For example, 0 divided by 0 is undefined and MATLAB returns NAN. Those are the basics of variables in MATLAB. Memorizing the basic rules for naming variables is worthwhile. Although MATLAB will usually give you an error message if you violate the rules, it'll be easier to understand what it's telling you if you know the rules for naming variables. It's unlikely that you'll need to memorize the list of reserved words. Trying to use them will result in an error, and the list is always readily available with the is keyword command.